how are Ponce de Leon, developmental psychology, and SpongeBob interrelated? No, young man, put your hand down. You can't possibly know this answer. No, Charlie, you put your hand down as well. You're going to find out in a second. All educational research indicates, not all, but 98% of it, indicates that the most important component in a classroom, the post, most important component in an educational process, is the teacher. And then you do a factor analysis of the teacher, what makes, what ingredients make for a fine teaching and teachers. And you look at body of knowledge, personality, sense of humor, ability to communicate, and a number of other factors. But you know what? All the research has missed one particularly pertinent point. So before I get to that pertinent point, let me just draw an analogy. In developmental psychology, there is something called reciprocal influence. Okay? Reciprocal influence has to do with the one personality trait that all human beings are born with, at least that which we know right now. And does anyone know what that trait is, just to get some feedback here? That wasn't a rhetorical question. Okay. It's called temperament. Babies are born with temperaments. You were born with a temperament. There are good temperaments, bad temperaments, and indifferent temperaments. The good temperament is the little baby that is sort of happy-go-lucky, feeds well, doesn't cry much, is a gentleman and a scholar. The bad infant cries a lot, doesn't feed well, panics, he's not really particularly helpful, he disturbs the family at unsightly hours. And then there's in between, there's the neutral baby. Well, I want to deal with the good and the bad infant, not the good and bad infant, but the good temperament and the bad temperament. The good temperament baby, parents love playing with them. They love holding them. They love talking to them. They love interacting with them all the time because they get this very important positive feedback. And therefore, the development of those children, of those babies, is promoted in a more healthy, more positive way. The infant with the bad temperament, for whatever reason, has somewhat of an adverse effect. You know, they cry a lot. And you don't want to hold them so much. You walk away and pray to God that the crying will stop. They don't feed well. And so that their development is not perhaps as positive as the children with the good temperament. So this brings me back to the one element that hasn't been investigated as a contributing element to why teachers are great teachers, good teachers, and why it really works in the classroom? And the answer is you. You are an incredibly important ingredient for a teacher coming to a classroom and being as effective as they possibly can. We look forward to those classes that have these incredibly attractive collective personalities where there's a lot of enthusiasm where there's a lot of inquiry, where there's a lot of questioning. You make our job a joy to teach, and that makes us better teachers. So when you get to graduate school and you're doing educational research, I want you to do research on the influence of students on teachers. You know, we get the question all the time, how can you teach the same subject year after year after year? Don't you get bored? The answer is really quite simple. No. Because all the kids change. You all change every single year. You allow us to sneak under the intergenerational tent 
and look at the younger generation and allow our little kid inside of us to come out, or at least to take a peek, to create a greater rapport with you. And this brings me back to my re, uh, reflection on SpongeBob. So we're having a deep philosophical discussion, actually psychological discussion, in honest psychology the other day. And I was talking about this and that, and someone brought up, well, Mr. Burke, what about SpongeBob? And I said, what? SpongeBob. And everyone in the class knew who SpongeBob was. Apparently, he's this entity that lives underwater, runs a diner, is a fast food uh, cook of some sort, and personally, I don't like my food to be so mushy uh, with the water. I can't even picture what SpongeBob looks like. But everyone in the class seemed to know, and he was really important. So I turned around and said, well, yeah, what about the little rascals? You know about the little rascals? No, they don't know anything about the little rascals. Only the people sitting behind you might know something about the little rascals. The perfect childhood environment. Well, this brings me to my final point. You are crucial to our success, particularly with your youthful enthusiasm, your preparation, your inquiry, your questions. We love interacting with you, and you make our job a joy and so much easier. At the end of this year, I'm going to be leaving DeMatha, and like Ponce de Leon, I'm going to Florida. Ponce de Leon went to Florida looking for the fountain of youth. Unlike Ponce de Leon, I am not going to look for the fountain of youth. I've already found it. And I can thank you for that. Thank you.